Yo, what's going on dudes? We're back with another episode in our full BG6 playthrough and in today's episode we'll be moving on to uh, reverse mode as well as we will be doing the round 100 apocalypse. So reverse mode is going to be really simple but round 100 apocalypse is going to be like the main theme for this episode. So I know I said I was going to work on the I like them big I like them chunky achievement. So we'll go ahead and use Pat Fusty for reverse mode. But once we move on to round 100 Apocalypse, we're going to be changing around our hero. So reverse mode is going to be pretty simple. We'll start off with our Pat Fusty. Uh, and then for the I like or I like him big, I like him chunky achievement, we're going to go ahead and stick to only using Monkey Buccaneers again. Um, that way we can go ahead and work more on more towards getting the um, I like him big, I like him chunky achievement. And I know guys, I know I've been saying I like him big, I like him chunky a lot, but it's just like so fun to say, right? All right, let's go ahead. We'll place down or we'll start off by placing down our monkey buccaneer right here. And then um, I think we're going to do something similar to what we did last time. And we'll just like go for a lot of merchantmen. And we'll try to grab and we'll try to grab as many merchmen as we can before round 60. So last time we ended up going for um the Apache Prime for round 60. This time I want to like try to do a little bit better and we'll try to go for like the Dark Champion. Like I think we should have enough money to buy the Dark Champion for round 60 as long as we don't mess up our uh Monkey Buccaneer farming right now well, luckily uh Pat Fussy can pop lead blood balloons so we don't have to worry about like gra grabbing grape shots or hot shots the only thing we need to focus on is just grabbing as many merchantmen as fast as we possibly can and make sure that we don't miss out on upgrading a merchantman on one round because uh like missing out on one mer merchantman it would end up like costing us like 110 dollars and that like it may not seem like a big deal but in the early game that makes a massive difference right all right round 16 here's our first merchman now that we have our first merchman let's go ahead and start going for our second one um and i don't know what round we should be able to afford our second merchman on but it shouldn't take us too long right with this game mode i'm gonna try to be a little bit more careful with the placement of my mer merchman that way we can hopefully place one more mer merchman because i think last time we um were like we really weren't able to like place that many because i was a little bit careless with the placement of my monkey buccaneers all right round 23 here's our second merchantman and i'm so glad that pat fussy can deal with leb with leb balloons that saves us so much m money because if what we didn't have or if we didn't have pat fussy or pat fussy couldn't pop leads then we would have to rely on our merchantman in order to pop lead balloons and we would end up having to wait waste money on like hot shots and, or grape shots and hot shots all right so right away i think we're doing much better with the positioning of our merchantman because i managed to fit four on this left side and i think in yesterday's video we only managed to fit three so i think we're going to be able to have like one more mer merchantman than we did uh for yesterday's um game modes right or i think it was military only when i went for the apache prime so this time we should have a little bit more money and it should be a lot easier to go for the dark champion now if we could fit now i don't think we'll be able to fit one more merchman over on the right hand side of this but i think we should still be good uh because we have more merchmen than we had in yesterday's video if i'm not mistaken now one thing we're probably gonna have to do is we'll probably end up having to upgrade one of our merchantmen up to hot shots that we have a little bit more damage for moab balloons so let's go ahead and upgrade this merchantman up to hot shots to give our one of our merchantmen a little bit more popping power um on round 40 we we're gonna have to activate pat busties um like level three that we could do a little bit more damage to the moab balloon and even though we activated the level three we still weren't able to pop the moab balloon which is a little bit annoying but there we go we have officially dealt with the moab balloon now let's go ahead and buy our first fla flavor trades now from this point on we're just going to be upgrading all of these merchantmen up to flavor trades like ideally we could buy ourselves ourselves a trade empire that way we can make a little bit more money now i don't know if it's a better investment to go for uh flavor trades or if it's a better investment just to go straight for the trade empire but i think i'm going to do the same thing that i did yesterday and i'm just going to be buying fla flavor trades before i go for the trade empire and i think it should end up working out quite nicely at least that's what i hope all right round 50 we have all of our merchantmen upgraded to uh, flavor trades now that we have all of our monkey buccaneers upgraded to uh, flavor trades uh, let's go ahead and start saving up to buy the trade empire 
Now, it shouldn't take us too many rounds to buy the Trade Empire. And then after we buy our Trade Empire, that's when we'll start going for the Dark Champion. Um, Ideally, we probably are like realistically we probably should upgrade at least one or two more of these flavor trades up to grape shots and hot shots to give us a little bit more popping power but i don't think we need it right now at least i hope we don't need it all right round 54 here's our trade empire now that we have our trade empire let's go ahead we'll buy ourselves our super monkey and then let's go ahead and just place our super monkey right here and then let's go ahead and start upgrading it up to the Dark Knight. Now, in order to upgrade to the Dark Champion, we're going to need $55,000. And you know what? Um, I think it's going to be a lot easier to go for the Dark Champion than it would be to go for the... Um, or th than it was to go for the Apache Prime. Because we're making more money than... Uh, well, I actually, the Dark Champion is much cheaper than the Apache Prime. Uh, to be honest, I think we can just sell all of our flavor trades right now and buy the Dark Champion. Um, round 58, let's go ahead. We'll sell all of our flavor trades. Well, actually, we just need to sell a few of them. And there's our Dark Champion. Perfect. And then along with the Dark Champion, you know what? Let's also grab ourselves um the sun avatar as well and the sun avatar really isn't going to make like a big difference but i mean if we're going for the dark champion we might as well go for the sun avatar as well so let's go ahead we'll sell all of this uh there's our sun avatar with knockback and ultra vision and then you know what we could actually probably buy another sun avatar to be completely honest but i feel like that is just a little bit overkill and then we have it is we have officially beaten reverse mode by going for a dark champion now is when the fun part begins because we're going to be trying to do round 100 apocalypse and i was thinking about it now let's or i, I was originally going to do like the i like them big i like them chunky achievement for apocalypse but let's go ahead and play it a little bit more on the safe side because we are we already did like a super sketchy str strategy when we were doing um a round 100 deflation so let's do a little bit more of a, re a reliable strategy for um round 100 apocalypse all right so the first thing we'll do is we'll start off with our soda we'll start off with our dark monkey and then you guys already know the deal we're going to be going for a bunch of monkey buccaneers because the reason why we're going to go for a bunch of monkey buccaneers is because the monkey buccaneers are going to one allow us to make money on top of that it's also going to increase our popping power as well so that's why i want to go for the monkey buccaneers on top of that i'm debating on whether or not i want to go for a lead to gold in the early round as well that way we can make a little bit more money from lead from lead to gold now for apocalypse um the monkey buccaneer and the merchant is actually a really op tower because the rounds go by so fast so like in a single round like you could like you can go from like round 13 all the way up until like round say 16 and not even realize which is why the merchantman is such a good tower to go for in apocalypse now as far as like the actual strategy itself um i think i want to go for like three or four merchantmen and then after we buy three or four mer merchantmen i should probably grab myself like a druid and then upgrade the druid up to the middle pathway that way we don't end up struggling with regen balloons now one of the big hurdles that we're probably going to come across is going to be lead balloons but luckily because sada's level three can pop leads we're going to be relying on sada's level three to deal with lead balloons if we end up like coming across them all right so here we have a couple of lead balloons right here let's go ahead and activate sada's level three and perfect uh, we were able to deal with the lead balloons with no issue but if we get hit with like a massive rush of lead balloons then that's that's where we're gonna have a little bit of trouble right now we may end up needing to um upgrade our well, one or two of our merchmen up to grape shots and hot shots when we start dealing with um moab balloons but i'm hoping or i'm hoping that we don't end up struggling too much with lead balloons if we do um like i was saying i think if we just up upgrade a couple of our monkey buccaneers up to grape shots and hot shots it shouldn't end up being a massive deal, right? All right, so round 39, we have a three merchantmen. Um, now let's go ahead. Um, I think we can go to four merchantmen before we have to upgrade our popping power on our merchantmen a little bit more. Um, and then to upgrade our merchantmen popping power, I'll probably just end, end up going for um like grape shots and hot shots on like one or two of our merchantmen. Then if we absolutely need to, we could always grab ourselves a uh ooh man, this is this this is getting a little bit sketchy. Um, I think I have to grab myself a tax shooter. Um, I'm just paying attention to these balloons and we're good. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and grab ourselves another one of these. Let's go ahead and upgrade to hot shots on one of our merchantmen that we have a little bit more popping power. 
because that was a little bit sketchy. That massive rush of regen blitz was just a little bit too much for our Sada to deal with. Let's go ahead and grab another Merchman. Let's go ahead and activate Sada's level three as well. Oh, uh, dude, like, I think I need to grab myself a Tax Shooter. Um, let me go ahead and grab myself a Tax, and then we'll upgrade the Tax Shooter up to Tax Spray. And then we also want to grab ourselves an Ult Overdrive as well. Uh, paying attention to these balloons. Um, where is our Overdrive? There's our Ult Overdrive. Hopefully, this ends up working out for us. Um, I also need to activate Sada's level three for those ceramic balloons over there because that would be a little bit too much for our towers to deal with um also we need to grab ourselves more mer merchantmen um i probably should grab myself a flavor trade and i ended up messing up the placement of my uh towers a little bit but there's nothing that we could really do about it right now um let's actually uh because we ended up messing up the placement can we fit a monkey sub here um actually we can there we go um let's go ahead and grab ourselves a plutonium reactor to reveal camel balloons um, let's go ahead and jump into free play because like I was saying, we're going to be going to round 100. So um, let's go ahead and clear out everything by activating Sada's level 10. And there we go. Let's, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple more of our merchantmen up to flavor trades. That way we can uh, make a little bit more money. Like we're making a lot of money right, right now, but we can always make a little bit more, right? Um, Actually, I should probably upgrade a couple more of these merchantmen up to grape shots and hot shots because we're dealing with uh, more lead balloons. Um, Let's also grab ourselves uh, another flavor trades here in a second dude like it was definitely a really good idea to upgrade um or to grab ourselves a monkey monkey sub with plutonium reactor it's working out so well all right and then after we grab uh, this flavor trades um can we fit another tax shooter here i don't think we can because i had to rush place down that um uh overdrive uh let me go ahead and get rid of the overdrive really quick to hopefully get a little bit better position on this tax shooter and then let's go ahead and upgrade this tax shooter up to ring of fire and then hopefully i have just enough space to place down one more tack here perfect and then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves an old overdrive as well all right so that's gonna give us a lot of mo a lot more popping power in the most like important part of, of this map right and then another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab myself a trade empire to give us a little bit more money. All right, there's a trade empire. Perfect. Now that we have the trade empire, let's go ahead, um, get rid of uh, this dart monkey. And opposed to like having the dart monkey, let's, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a monkey village. Um, because we're going to need a little bit more popping power. Let's grab ourselves. Um, wait, why? Oh, it was because it wasn't placed. Um, let's grab ourselves the tax zone. Um, let's also grab ourselves a MIB. Um, that way our tax zone can deal with DDT balloons. So round 886, we have 14 rounds left until round 100. Um, I also want to grab myself a ring of fire as well, but the ring of fire is going to be super, super expensive, but it's definitely going to be worth it right all right as long as our towers can deal with these um and we can afford to buy our ring of fire well, there's our infernal ring perfect so now that we have our infernal ring let's go ahead and buff up our tax shooter as well as our ring of fire um let's go ahead we'll grab uh, this here and then hopefully when we upgrade this up to primary training um there we go perfect let's go ahead and grab primary me mentoring and then let's also save up enough money for primary expertise and that'll go ahead and give us a lot of uh, like extra popping power with our two primary towers here now if i'm not mistaken um we may end up getting a bad balloon before round 100 but i'm not exactly sure it all depends on luck but even if we get a bad balloon we shouldn't struggle with popping it because we do have uh, the uh attack zone as well as we have uh, the infernal ring on top of that, we also have the primary expertise, which is going to increase uh, the popping power of these towers by a lot. Now, the next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of stall as well. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves a relentless glue. And we'll also try to save up for super glue as well. Even though we only have a three rounds left until round 100. All right, so there we go. We have our super glue and round 100. Here is the bad balloon. We just have the bad balloon left to deal with. Um, on top of that, we're going to have to deal with like round 101 and round 102 as well. As well as round 103 too. All right, so as soon as we pop this bad balloon, we should be good. There we go, dudes. We have officially beaten Apocalypse. So now that we've beaten round 100 Apocalypse, we can go ahead and do a home reset. And if everything went according to plan, there we go, dudes. We have the survivor achievement, which is beat round 100 in Apocalypse mode. But there we have it, dudes. We have accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. We ended up uh, getting our silver border on resort as well as we ended up getting a hidden achievement for beating round 100 deflation or not round, round 100 deflation but round 100 apocalypse now for tomorrow's video we're going to end up moving on to hard standard and we're going to be attempting to get the all for one and one for all achievement but anyways dudes that that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button also if you guys are new around here don't forget to subscribe as well because i do upload daily beat six content 
But anyways, dudes, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.